You want to make an improvement in your life. It doesn't matter if you do things every once in a while. It is what you make every day which makes a difference. Sometimes the smallest behaviors are all it takes to make radical changes in your future. In today's video, I'm going to talk about eight tiny habits which I changed in order to improve my mental health, my general health, my relationship with people and my work ethic. Most of these changes or behaviors take less than 10 seconds but make such a huge difference. Let me know in the comment sections down below what small nudges and behaviors you don't like about yourself. So the first thing is the alarm clock. Instead of placing my alarm clock next to my bed, I put it on the floor because in the mornings when I wake up, I need to get out of my bed, take that first step and go down there to turn off my alarm. And it's not like on your phone where you can just hit the snooze button and sleep 40 minutes longer in. And that was a necessary step I had to take in order to become a morning person. The second thing is work-life balance. Quick shot of my calendar currently. Fully packed, my semester hasn't even started yet. But what I do in order to calm myself down and mentally also have a good morning routine, I journal and I write one major thing down which I will do in my to-do list, which I really enjoy. That can be the gym, eating a nice fresh burger. That can be anything but only one thing I write down and place it on top of my laptop because in the evenings or in the mornings I mostly spend my time there so I can constantly remind myself of that one thing. So the third thing I always have with me is my good old water bottle. I take it with me anywhere I go, I put it into my rucksack and take it with me and especially when I'm working or editing at my desk I have it always next to me because most people neglect or forget to drink enough water and with such a big bottle of water I drink around 3 liters per day which keeps me hydrated. So the fourth thing is healthy eating. It's not just about eating vegetables, fruits, enough meat, just a balanced and healthy nutrition you need there. It is more like you get much more energized from eating healthy food and the decision I already make is mostly in the supermarket or just when I stand in front of that fridge or anywhere where I want to search for snacks. I need, just need to constantly remind myself of how much energy long living fats for example in nuts but also in any fruits or meat it has which you don't get in any fast food fifth thing is your mood for bed it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not but going relaxed and calm to bed increases sleep quality and also you feel much more alive the next day instead of unresolved problems from yesterday. The sixth thing is junk food. These digest biscuits I bought four weeks ago in England because we don't have them here in Switzerland. What I do in order to reduce the amount of junk food I eat, I just don't buy them. Because if you don't buy them and have them in your house, the temptation is very low that you're going to eat all the time junk food or snack all the time and that's with the water bottle as well because I'm drinking so much I don't have the temptation to snack all the time as well so the temptation here is very low if you don't buy them in the supermarket and make that decision already there it doesn't take you more than three seconds to decide if you want to buy it or not so if you shut that off then you won't fall into that trap of always buying junk food the seventh tiny thing I do is to put my phone on silent mode. A second thing I do is to turn my phone upside down because if I turn it upside down and have it on silent mode I can't 
get distracted or hear the notification coming in and if I'm so focused in my work I won't even realize it and I don't know if you have your phone next to you it is most likely that you get quickly distracted especially when you see that notification coming through your phone and giving you an extra noise you get so quickly distracted and looking onto it all the time and what I do most of the time is just throw my phone into my bed so I don't see anything of it on my desk and really get some good amount of focus work done. The eighth thing is reflections. It takes a bit longer than 10 seconds. It's about 10 minutes, but if we count that up, you have 24 hours per day. That is 1440 minutes you have per day. So you can take 10 minutes for a nice little walk like this. I usually do that in the morning or in the evening after work I just relax and this is the time where I can sit back think about my personal life think about my day and also reflect about it and at the same time really being grateful how far I've come and how grateful I should be about living on this planet eight tiny habits I took in order to improve my life. Let me know in the comment sections down below which habits you already apply in your personal life. And if you're someone who's looking for a good productivity system, then check out this video about the real secret behind productivity, which I started to implement in order to get my things done instead of procrastinating. So I'll see you guys there.